to educator.com. In today's lessons, we're going to be covering setting up the server um, using a couple uh, some free tools that you can actually get on online. And we're going to go through and I'll go through some examples to kind of see what the difference are depending on what type of uh, machine you're using. If you're using a, a Mac or if you're using uh, a PC, there's, there's actually both versions that you're going to be able to use, um, which will be very um, beneficial in getting this stuff set up. Okay. So the learning objectives here today is just learn how to install MAMP, which is what we're using here because we're actually using a, uh, a Mac. And so it's going to be fairly the same, um, but I, I put a lot of links in this so you can reference to it and go back to it and, um, in case you ever forget and actually get yourself started. Um, the other thing we're going to be doing is just really navigate through this um, through the local host server. I'm going to explain what this is, if it's, if it's foreign to you, and um, how, what this means when you actually start to set up and start making uh, the server talk to the databases and then talking and then you know, referencing back and giving back um, the data onto a website. Um, the other thing is the purpose of my PHP, uh, PHP my admin, what that is, we're going to go into that and actually take a look of what that is. That's really your, your database where everything gets held, and so we'll go into that. Um, learn what the web hosting service does. So uh, this might all sound like you know Greek to some of you and it just that might not make a lot of sense but you do need web hosting in order to to definitely um, basically get your stuff out there to the World Wide Web. So that's pretty much how that's gonna work. Learn how to secure a domain name. Very important especially if you're actually trying to like you know start up your own little business or do what you want to do. You want to secure the name so no one else can take it. So I'm gonna actually walk you through that and how you can tell if a name is actually taken. Okay. So very some good uh, stuff we're going to go through today. Um, so some useful links that I actually you know put in for you just to kind of explain what they're going to be, and then we're going to actually should go into the actual uh, links themselves. I'm going to walk you through them a little bit to kind of give you a better idea. Um, Man, basically it just stands for you know Mac. Mac, Apache, MySQL, PHP. So obviously we know what Mac is. It's basically the Apple version. Um, of a type of operating system. Apache is the server that we use. Uh, MySQL is the database. Um, and PHP is the language that we're using. So, you know, it's kind of like this nice little package that, that you know, uh, a couple programmers put together and it makes life a whole lot easier setting up a server and, and kind of get go and going. So I did put the this extension right here, um, the URL to kind of go through directly, directly there and actually um, download the data. WAMP really is just the Windows version. So uh, the difference here is that other than it being Windows and Apache, you know, it, this, this also has a different um, take on it. There's PHP and um, I think it's Perl and Python. Um, two other types of languages that actually can be incorporated in the Windows version um, if you know how to write that. So, but since we're going to be dealing with just PHP, I mean, I didn't, you know, feel necessary to put it down. But it definitely, when you do go to the link, it's going to, it's probably list the uh, Python and um, Perl languages if you know those. PHP My Admin, I could get, like I said before, it's software to main, it basically to help you maintain the MySQL database or MySQL database, depends on what you prefer how, uh, prefer to call it. The data, basically what this is just going to help you do is this, as you set things up and actually put records into a database, um, this is where everything gets stored. And I'll explain two different types of databases and explain what the difference is in case you're used to using one over the other. Um, explain why you wouldn't want to use um, the other version. I think a lot of people get used to using because um, it's it's simple and um, I think it's a little bit easier to look at than probably um, PHPMyAdmin. So I did put a link a little tutorial site there that actually walks you through it. It's a really nice little picture tutorial with very little um, wording. So it just helps you gu kind of basically guide you along and um, you get through the process a lot faster. Web hosting again. I I'm a we're going to go through that link and basically see what um, some of the top hostings are. And I'll explain why they're, they're, they're picked as best rate from what I was reading. And uh, we can go through there. And I just listed a couple, um, your GearHost and GoDaddy, because those are the two um, popular ones that I hear a lot. Um, I'm familiar with the GearHost, and I'll explain why I would use GearHost over some of the other ones in case you are one of the uh, developer that's going to use a certain type of language. Domain registration, Dotser, there's plenty of them out there. Um, this is just one that I've used, um, but a lot of the other ones have package deals, so you can kind of actually uh, get like the web hosting and then get the domain name at the same time at a very discount price, so I'll explain what that is. Okay, so let's actually, we're going to go to um, just setting up this server. I'm going to show you what, 
what we're talking about here. Okay, MAMP is when you install this is basically what we want to see on our, our web page. This is like a testing server. So in order for like PHP and the earlier lessons I spoke about, server-side language, uh, programming languages can only be read um, through a server. HTML is not a, a programming or a, a server type of language. Um, CSS isn't either. So, but like the other Perl and Python and PHP, ASP and Cold Fusion are all server side languages and they require like a, like a testing engine to actually see them. Um, so as you go through and you start to learn more about languages or just learn, if you want to just learn about PHP, you do need a testing server where you can actually see the pages because it just won't view in a regular browser. So this is the why you have to set up a server, okay, if you're going to be creating anything with a server side language like PHP. Um, the things to kind of, to, to make a note of is here, we're going to reference back to these right here, but right here it's um, the host name, localhost, username, root, password, those are just defaults. Um, if you were doing a real server, you obviously wouldn't use those, so this is just for testing purposes only, um, for you, this machine only. And when we say testing, it means it's not going to go live. You're only seeing it on your browser, um, and the, world, the whole world's not going to be able to see it until you put it onto a server that is connected to the World Wide Web, okay? So those are the things that you got to just remember for later on in the um, upcoming lessons when we, ref when we refer back to this and we set MAMP up and we set the databases up. You're actually going to have to know this information. So localhost root root uh, for the username password. Okay. The other things that we're going to uh, go through is I'm going to walk you through a little bit through uh, the first MAMP link that I, I I provided. This is just where we get it. It's, it's a free download. You don't have to buy the, the MAMP Pro unless you really want it, but um, I've been using the, the personal one just to test my websites before I put them to a, a live server that I, that I pay for, a hosting. And so really simple with, with a Mac. Um, you just basically open it. Um, here we have it installed, so I'm not going to reinstall it over, but when you click it, it's going gonna, gonna to download. You basically just open, double click, and it just installs. I mean, that's the nice beauty, the beautiful thing about this program is that if you were trying to set up a server um, back in the days before these came out, um, you had to really like know, know a lot of programming to go in there. It was, it was kind of difficult, and sometimes if you messed up, things weren't working right. So with MAMP, it kind of just sets things up automatically by default, and if you're a little bit more advanced user with it, you can go ahead and mess with the settings, but I don't recommend it. Um, I've never really had to mess with them on the Mac. Um, with the PC, though, um, yes, you have to mess with things a little bit more, and um, as you go in there, you're going to see that it is different. The same company doesn't make it, um, but this basically here can walk you through all of this, and again, you don't need the Pro. It, you don't need to pay for the product. You can definitely just go with the regular version if you're just going to test it. Um, just regular websites before you put them out to a server. Um, the next link that I provided was the Windows version of this. And here, again, it's from different different uh, group of developers that put this together. And the settings are a little bit different. Uh, this kind of walks you through the steps. It's really simple, again, compared to what we, uh, you know, if you were from the old days like me where you had to set up all the servers, it was kind of, you know, um, frustrating sometimes if it didn't work right, if they had firewalls up or whatever, um, it, it created a lot of problems. So this is a whole lot easier, just kind of throws everything in for you um, and do that. Now you can run a server from your home machine to be live. Uh, I don't really recommend it, uh, especially when you're putting a lot of data in, in, uh, in your, you know, credit card information, all that stuff. So some people might have their own server. If you're skilled at it and you know how to do this stuff and you know how to set up a server, um, definitely, I mean, it's at your own discretion. Just be beware of customer um, confidentiality um, when, when you do that. So especially if your server goes down, your website goes down. So um, that's kind of why, you know, I you know, put my stuff into a, a hosting so they can take care of that for me and do all the security. Okay, so this is just the Windows version. Um, I mean, I can't download anything from here. It's a, it's is a Mac. Um, the next link I provided is the tutorial for PHP My Admin. So we are going to actually go into PHP My Admin in this lesson. So I'm just going to show you some of the screenshots that are interesting. Um, you know, as you, when you first go into it, this number could be different um, just because of the the updates, uh, but it's pretty much stayed the same uh, over the years and how you put in a database and the local hosts and the fields. Basically what you're doing here is you're just setting up the, um, 
the field. So when I go in and explain this, and I'm going to show you some live live examples, um, it might make sense to what's going on. But they did a pretty decent job here, of actually just explaining the basics. There's plenty of books out there on this topic that walk you through very thoroughly and explain what each thing is and why we'd actually use it. Definitely worth having um, in your book collection for this because it's, this has pretty much stayed the same for a long time. There's not a whole lot of changes. Um, so it's a good investment. Uh, it's not something that updates that often. But here they just set up uh, the fields. So right here when they, they say four fields, one, two, three, four, and then you're able to put in, um, we'll explain what ID is and you know the integers a little bit, but these are the defaults and this is where the book's gonna be able to explain a lot of this stuff is right here. Um, it's going to be able to explain like what these are, what they mean, why you would use, you know, length and values of certain sizes. Um, so, you know, again, as we go into it and the more advanced you do get with it, you'll see the benefits of why you would use this over some of the other the databases um, uh, that, you know, that are out there. OK, but again, they're very decent, very, very simple. Um, this right here that they're talking about is a. Um, it's the SQL query that actually comes out that you kind of, you know, reference back to to, to put into code, um, into the PHP file to actually um, output some data. So they can output these records. And then, um, again, just finishing up here, very simple. And so just, it takes some time to go through, but it will explain to you like what kind of a data that you could put in. So here they filled in all the fields. So if I were to output all this data and output the row, people or by people it would actually come out um, the table would spit out all these people's names here and um, you know you have a start of a database so but what we're doing is completely different um, in the sense that it's gonna have a lot of records already pre-built for us um, per some of the software that actually we're actually gonna be using in these lessons so um, you know you won't have to really create all this stuff so it's gonna be the nice part and then um, when we go into a lot of the content management system and uh, that's gonna, I'm gonna explain how this really links to the database and what a type of interface you can use to make it a little bit more user friendly, um, you know, instead of just, you know, just putting data into a database, okay?